And 3, 2, 1, testing, testing. Welcome to Fractions of a Collection, Fractions of a Collection, problem solving here with Mr. Burns. Here you go. And there's his little moustache. And here we have one half here and one half here. And I think that's going to set the tone. We're looking at fractions of a collection, problem solving. Okay, well, let's go. And our learning intention, our learning intention today is that we are learning to solve word problems that involve fractions of a collection. And our success criteria will look a little bit like this. We're going to read the problem. We're going to work out what the problem is actually asking. We're going to find any necessary fractions of collections, which is like one fifth of 30 or something. And then we're going to answer the problem. Okay, let's have a look at the first one. Farmer Burns had 72 chickens. Sadly, he left the chicken coop open and the fox got in. The fox ate three-ninths of Farmer Burns' chicken. How many chickens are left? Okay, well, for starters, let's, let's highlight the key information. Farmer Burns has 72 chickens. He's left the chicken coop open and the fox got in and the fox ate three-ninths of Farmer Burns' chickens. How many chickens are left? Right, well, we're in the teaching phase here, so I'm actually just going to show you how I would go and do uh, this sum, okay? So, 72 chickens. We should write down 72, okay? And we know that three-ninths are now gone. So before we can worry about finding out what 3 ninths of 72 is, okay, we've got to really find out what 1 ninth of 72 is. So let's do that first. Let's go 72 uh, divided by 9, which is actually going to give us 1 ninth of 72. And by the way, 72 divided by 9 is 8. So 8 is equal to 1 ninth of 72. Okay, now we haven't finished yet. We've got to find three ninths, not one ninth. We found one ninth, that was eight. But we've got to find three ninths. Okay, so the next bit would be if, if one ninth equals um, eight, then I guess that three ninths is going to equal eight times three, isn't it? Because it's three ninths. So one ninth equals eight. 3 ninths is 8 times 3, which is 24. So we're not even finished yet, okay? We know that there's 24 chickens that have been eaten. How very sad. We've worked out that much. 24 chickens have been eaten. But that's not the final bit of the question. Guys, the final bit is, that is asking is not how many were eaten, okay? It's how many chickens are left. How many chickens are left? And to find out that, it's going to have to be 72 take away uh, 24 which is how many chickens were eaten okay and then it's just a takeaway isn't it two take away four you can't do you've got to do a bit of burrowing so take one off that this becomes 12 12 minus 4 is 8 and then 6 minus 2 is 4 so 48 chickens are left here you go I'll draw a chicken 48 chickens are left okay next Okay, team, here we are. We're on the uh, together phase. We're going to have a go at doing this bit together. And let's see how we go. Right, let's have a read. Farmer Burns had 121 chickens. Sadly, he left the chicken coop open and the fox got in. The fox ate three elevenths of Farmer Burns' chickens. How many chickens are left? Okay. So there's a few things in there. We've got to find out what are the key numbers, right? What are the key numbers? Um, what is the question actually asking us? Is there a fraction of a collection to be found? And there definitely is. So why don't you write down what you think is important so far in this question? And we'll have a look at that. So write down what you think is important. Okay, I hope you did something like this. I hope you've circled 121 perhaps, you've circled 311. So I hope you wrote down well, you can't circle the computer screen, can you? So sorry about that. I hope you write down at least 121, because 121 chickens is an important part of this question. And 3 elevenths have really been eaten. So that would have been good information to write down as well. And I wonder if you found the key question, which is how many chickens are left? And that's the key question for us, okay? So what do you think might be the first thing to do? Remember, there's 121 chickens, 3 11ths have been eaten, 
what's the first thing we've got to do? What's the first thing we've got to do to find out how many chickens are left? Have a think about that. Right, I think the first thing to do is probably find out what is 3 elevenths of 121. And I hope that that's the first thing you thought to find out as well. You've got to find out what 3 elevenths of 21 are because that's that's how many chickens have been eaten. So how do we find out what 3 elevenths of 21 are? are? How do we do that? I'll, I'll, let me give you a hint. You don't just go 3 elevenths of 21. You make it a bit easier. Okay, have a think about it. I wonder if you're happy to find out 1 eleventh of 21 first, because that's easy. If we find out 1 eleventh, after that we can find out 3 elevenths of 21, 121, just by times in the answer by 3. So it's easy to find out 1 eleventh of 21, and then when we've got that, we can find out 3 eleventh of 21. Look, we did this before, didn't we? So how might somebody go about finding out 1 eleventh of 121? Yeah, we did this in the other question, so by all means, go and have a look at it and try it on this one. Pause me and maybe have a go. Okay, so what we need to do for 1 eleventh of 121 is, is make it a division sum. So 1 eleventh of 121 is like saying 11 into 121. Now, guys... <laughs> I haven't taught you long division, I don't expect you to know it, but I do expect you to know that 11 elevens are 121. So there is 11 elevens in 121. So the answer to 121 divided by 11 is 11, okay? Which is the same as saying 1 eleventh of 121 equals 11. Okay, are you with me here so far? Well, now you know what 1 eleventh is, right? Can you work out what 3 elevenths are? Have a go at that. Go on. Have a go. Have a go at that by yourself. Okay, I hope this is what you did. I hope you went, mm, well, 1 eleventh is um, 11. Then 3 elevenths would be 3 times 11, which is going to be 33. Hey, but we're not finished. We've only found out that 33 chickens have been eaten. 33 chickens have been eaten. We haven't answered the question because we've got to find out how many chickens are left. And that's the real question. We know that 33 have been eaten. So what's the next bit to do? Have a bit of a think about it. And I wonder if you worked out that the next bit is actually going 121, because that's the total number of chickens, take away um, 33, because that's all the chickens that were eaten. So then that's just a takeaway sum. And the answer is... And the answer is 88. So your answer is 88 chickens are left. Chickens left. Bacar! 88 chickens are left. Okay? Okay. Now, that was the together phase. Let's go into the try phase. And in the try phase, you're going to try one all by yourself. And then I'm going to show you... Um, um, how, how, how you should have done it or how I hope you did it sort of okay so I'll read it through with you then you can try it all by yourself okay um, farmer Burns had 63 chickens sadly he left the chicken coop open and the fox got in the fox ate two seventh of farmer Burns's chickens how many chickens are left oh no okay so I'm leaving it with you let, let, let me give you a hint. Here's your key numbers. 63 chickens, two sevenths of Farmer Burns' chickens. How many chickens are left? Right, have a go. All by yourself. Right, what you needed to do was go. Right, 63. Oh, maybe not actually. You needed to find out two sevenths 
of 63. And I reckon you can't just find out two sevenths of 63 straight away. I think you need to find out um, one seventh of 63 first. And one seventh of 63 is the same as saying 63 divided by 7, which is, if you know your times tables, 9. So now we know that um, one seventh of 63 equals 9. We should be able to work out two sevenths, okay? So if one seventh is 9, then two sevenths is, well, 9 times 2, isn't it? Um, which is 18. So now we've got two sevenths of 63. Well, it's not the answer, but that's halfway through the question. We've got to work out how many chickens are left. We just know that 18 got eaten. That's what we know. Now, how many chickens are left? Let's have a look at that bit. And I hope you did something like this. I hope you went um, 63 minus 18. And I hope your answer was 45. Okay. Even if that didn't happen, let's have a look at another one, and you can have another a little um, a little go at that by yourself. Let's have another try. Here we are, guys, still in the try phase, still in the try phase, and let's have a good old go. So here we students, go. if we are in the try phase, here we are in the try phase, and um, again, I'm, I'm not going to do it for you. You can have a good old go by yourself. Um, maybe you can even circle the key bits. Look, I'll circle the first bit for you. Can you circle some other key bits? Okay. And make sure you're doing this work because if I'm your teacher, I do want to see it in your book. Okay. Pause me and have a go. Pause me and have a go. Okay, I hope this is what you did. I hope you went to Farmer Cordroy has 110 corn stalks. Sadly, she left the chicken coop open and the chickens got out. Oh, this is a change. The chickens got out. Better than they've been eaten. They ate seven tenths of Farmer Cordroy's corn. How much corn is left? I hope that you went well. We're trying to find seven tenths of 110, right? And I hope that you went, well, that's a bit hard. Let's just find out one tenth. Okay, first, and one tenth of 110 is the same as going, well, 10 into 110, okay? Now, I haven't taught you guys long division, but I've taught you times tables, and you should know that 10 elevens are 110. So that means, so far, your answer should be um, one tenth of 110 equals 11, so far, but that's only one tenth. You've got to find seven tenths, don't you? Well, let's do that. If one tenth equals 11, then seven tenths, right, is going to equal 11 times seven, which is going to be 77. So that's how much they ate of the corn. They ate, they ate 77, you know, ears of corn. 77 ears of corn gone. But that's not the end. The question is, how much corn is left? So we know those hungry chickens, right, ate 77. Those hungry chickens ate 77 years of corn. So the sum's going to be 110 minus 77, which is 33. Okay? And that might be the end. I wonder if there's another one. Uh, if it is the end, thanks for being a part of this lesson, but I think there might be another one. Oh, there it is. There it is. Here's the last one. Here's the very last one. The last one of the try phase. Have a go of this all by yourself. We're just about to finish. Have a try all by yourself. You can maybe write it down if it helps to write it down, or at least um, circle on the screen the key parts of this question, or write down the key numbers in this question. Okay, pause me and have a go. Okay, I hope you've done that. I hope perhaps you circled or highlighted 48 mice that Farmer Wallace has. Um, she left the snake hutch open and the snakes got out. Oh, no, Farmer Wallace, what sort of a farmer are you? Um, they ate five-sixths of Wallace's mice, of Farmer Wallace's mice 
how many mice are left? Right, so there's your, there's your actual question, how many are left? So you really had to have your 48 mice, didn't you? So you're really trying to find out what is 5, 6 of 48 mice, weren't you? We've talked about this. We don't find 5, 6 all at once. We just find 1, 6 all at once. So 1, 6 of 48 mice is just like going, well, 6 into 48. And your answer for 6 into 48 is going to be... Um, Eight, which is the same as saying that um, one six of forty eight equals eight. Okay, one six of forty eight equals eight. So now we've got to find five six, don't we? So we found one six, so five six would be well, let's change this to a five. Five six of forty eight equals well, 8 times 5, because 1, 6 was 8, so 8 times 5 will equal 5, 6, which is, of course, oh, whoops, a daisy, which is, of course, 40. So now we know that 40 of the mice have been eaten. Oh, how grim. 40 of the mice have been eaten. So that means that... It's not the end, is it? Farm Wallace had 48 mice. Minus 40 that got eaten means she's got eight mice left. She's got eight mice left. Okay, this has been Teach Together Try. We have been looking at fractions of a collection and problem solving with fractions of a collection. Okay, see you later.